students good morning today i will be presenting ring election algorithm there are two methods are available to select a process as a coordinator today we are going to see the first method this algorithm applies to systems organized as a ring that is the ring may be organized either as a logically or physically in this algorithm we assume that the link between the process is unidirectional every process can send a message to the process on its right side only that is clockwise direction active list what is active list it is a data structure used in this program this active list has the priority numbers of all active processes running in the system each process has an unique process number that is priority number the priority number may be its network address all processes in the system are fully connected highest priority number process will be elected as a coordinator as we have already seen in the bully election algorithm each process know the order of the ring faulty process what is faulty process the process that does not respond in a fixed amount of time is called faulty process so while sending election messages the faulty process will be skipped this algorithm uses a ring for its selection but does not use any token assume only one process is running in each node or system since all the processes are exactly the same with equal capabilities there is no way to consider any one of them as a special process that is all the processes are with equal capabilities and capacities all are equal so just like that we can choose any process as a coordinator so we should conduct election so election is must if in case the existing coordinator is crashed when any process notices that a coordinator is not functioning it can start the election it create an active list and builds an election message initially the active list is empty the election message contains the sender's process priority number that's unique process number the sender process sends a message to its successor on its right side and you have already seen it is only send the message only in the right side the clockwise direction at each stage the sender adds its own process number to the active list in the message making itself a candidate to be elected as coordinator the success is down then the sender skips over the successor and goes to the next process in the ring as see the diagram p1 is the sender but p2 is a successor of p1 but p2 is already crashed so p1 it won't send election message to p2 it will send election message only to the next successor p3 so at last the message get back to the process who started the election process at last the election will come to the process who originated the election message so this process that is who started the election can see its own process number in the active list this process see the active list and select the process with the highest priority number in the list as a new coordinator at this point the election message is changed to coordinator message and selected once again to inform everyone who the new coordinator is and who are the new members new members means any person may come and join in the ring when this message is selected once it is removed and normal work is proceeded let us see how this algorithm works assume p is a coordinator but it is crashed due to some reasons now process p1 notices that p5 is crashed now process p1 wants to become the coordinator so it sends request to p5 to check whether it is alive or not but p1 notices that p5 is not responding for its request as it is, as it is already crashed so p1 does not receive any reply for a fixed amount of time so it confirm the process p1 confirm that process p5 p5 is crashed so p1 initiate the election and send election message to the process which is on right side of the ring that is process p2 at the same time it enter its own id in the active list that is one see the active list the id one 
is entered in the list. Now P2 sends the election message to the process, which is on the right side of the ring, process P3. At the same time, it enters its own ID in the IT list. So now the IT list contains two IDs, one and two. P3 sends the election message to its neighbor on its right side, that is process four. Now the IT list contains three IDs, one, two, and three. Process P4 does not send election message to P5 as it is already crashed. So P4 sends the election message to the to its neighbor and right side in clockwise. That is P1. The updated IT list contains IDs 1, 2, 3, 4, not 5. Now the process P1 sees one ID, one in the IT list. So it comes to the conclusion that the election message has fully circulated in the ring. The election message arrived at P1. It sees its own ID one in the one is present in the IQ list. So it understands that the election message has fully separated in the ring. Now it selects the highest number in the list, that is four. So four will be the new coordinator. So process B1 announced that process B4 is a new coordinator. All the process send message to other process that P4 is the new coordinator. See the diagram? Now P4 is a new coordinator. Upon recovery, process P5 will send inquiry message to the coordinator P4. P4 will send reply to P5 and then P5 will join in the IQ system. Thank you for watching this presentation. Please subscribe it.